For 15 years, Operation Toy Train has collected toys for the United States Marine Corps Reserve Toys for Tots Foundation and Carolyn Hoffman. She is the president of Operation Toy Train. She joins us this morning here on Jersey Magazine. Carolyn, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I'm good. The uh, program this year begins November 12th, runs through December 16th. And for WDHA listeners who might not be familiar with Operation Toy Train, tell us about it. So Operation Toy Train was started in 2009 to support the uh, Toys for Tots Foundation out of Picatinny, New Jersey, out in Wharton. Um, We've expanded over the last few years to cover New York State and now parts of Pennsylvania. Uh, We can also support uh, non-Marine Corps foundations, if need be, any 501c3 nonprofit that looks for toys for needy children, we can support them as well. And what's new for 2023? A lot. Um, we have added, I want to say it's 18 stops. I'm, I might be wrong on that. There's a ton. Um, we have added stops in um, out in uh, Pennsylvania at the Allentown and Auburn Railroad. We have added a run down in um, southwestern New Jersey, just south of Trenton with a group called um, the Woodstown Central Railroad run by the SMS Railroad. They're going to be doing some collections in Salem County. And we've added a run in, uh, I'm not sure the county, I apologize, but we've added a run in southeastern New Jersey. It is Farmingdale to Jamesburg. I think it's middle to maybe Middletown area. I'm not, Red Bank, I think is the the Toys for Tots Foundation out there. Well, you mentioned uh, a big run of uh, drops and uh, uh-huh. for, uh, listeners are actually watching this on our YouTube page. You can see all of them. They're all over the area and it's, yes. it's an actual train. Yes. That's involved in this. It's not just people taking toys and, and dropping them off at a donation site. You're dropping them off operation toy train, thus the name and an actual train, which I think is so cool. It was actually conceived by my co-founder, John Sabatka, who had worked for Norfolk Southern railway for a, l- a number of years his daughter said, dad, you run a train. Can't we use a box car to collect a bunch of toys? Because he had been doing it with a group called the Military Transport Association who collect military vehicles. And they collected with you know, deuce and a half and five tons and, and old military uh, restored vehicles. And his daughter said, come on, like a box car can fit a lot more toys than a five ton can. So we started with one box car, one passenger car that was loaned to us by a group in New Jersey to let our volunteers ride with the train. And the first year we got just about 6,000 toys. And last year we broke 30,000 toys in four days. Wow. That's incredible. That's a huge number. We've uh, participated in in years past with Toys for Tots, and we've actually been dropping them off at the Picatinny Arsenal uh, for the United States Marine Corps. What are some of the more popular toys that you're seeing this year? We haven't seen any toys yet. So we start our collections this year. It's going to start in November. Um, The biggest thing, so the hardest group to actually collect toys for is the kind of young teenage group. So you've got the 12 to 17-ish group that want electronics. They want video games. They want, you know, things that are way more expensive than most people are donating. So we tend to ask for, basketballs, baseballs, makeup kits, nail polish kits. Uh, You can go into, um, I don't know if I can use actual uh, companies, Five Below, Target, Walmart, places like that, and pick up uh, jewelry making kits, bracelet kits, art kits, things that some of the slightly older kids are more into because the little kids are easy. Any Fisher Price toy kit, any Barbie kit, any little kid is going to love It's when you get into that kind of mid-range group that's a little more difficult. I would imagine that anything related to Barbie and Taylor Swift might be pretty big this year. Oh, absolutely, Based on the success of the the, the two uh, franchises, the two brands, if you will, have had this past year. Yep. Uh, The one thing we will note is that anything that looks like a gun, they won't take. Mm -hmm. Even Nerf guns, they won't take. So other than that, anything we get full size bicycles and helmets we get full size musical equipment sometimes um we've had people donate beginner guitars um 
everything from crayons and coloring books up through whatever you can imagine a child would like, we will absolutely gladly take in the Marine Cobra love at all of it. Carolyn Hoffman is with us this morning. She is the president of Operation Toy Train, which uh, begins mid-November and runs into the middle of December. What are your goals this year for Operation Toy Train? Um, last year, we broke 30,000 toys. I would love to see us closer to 40,000 this year. It's it's ambitious. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it, it's hard to explain to someone what 10 or 12,000 toys looks like packed into a box car until you actually see it. Uh, we also have a baggage car, a full-size baggage passenger car that used to run on Amtrak that will hold roughly 10,000 toys if we stack it properly. Um, but I, I would love to hit 40,000. That would be a huge goal for us. How can local businesses get involved? Local businesses can reach out to us, operationtoytrain.org. Uh, we work with a lot of local businesses to get them boxes, banners, posters, uh, promotional materials, as long as they can get that box to our train. Now, sometimes it is a little difficult for a business who runs nine to five Monday through Friday. Um, we are able to accommodate some pickups um, during the week to bring to the train, but generally speaking, it is much easier if people can get to our train. If a business wants to get involved, we do have a sponsorship page. We also have um, any of our stops. Businesses can feel free to bring their big company banner, uh, bring your photographer, put it on your website, put it on your social media. All of that is helpful. And let me give uh, our listeners some of the uh, dates and locations. Saturday, December 2nd, Rockaway, Dover, and Port Murray out near Hackettstown. Yes. And then the following week, Saturday, December 9th, some of the areas uh, in the DHA listing area, some of the locations are Rochelle Park, Hawthorne, Midland Park, Wyckoff, Oakland, Pompton Lakes, and Butler, Sparta, Vernon. We'll post this list, by the way, at WDHAFM.com for listeners who want to take part in Operation Toy Train 2023. Again, the website is operationtoytrain.org. It would be great if you can get to 40,000 this year, Carolyn, and best of luck with this. That would be wonderful. Thank you so much for DHA's support on this. It's it's a huge project. There are so many children right in the listening area, right where we collect toys that really can use this help. Um, also for families that are looking for support during the holidays, you can go right to uh, the Toys for Tots Foundation. If you just Google Toys for Tots Foundation, you can come right up with their website. You can pick what county you're in and apply for toys and the Marine Corps will help you. Carolyn Hoffman's the president of Operation Toy Train. Thank you so much for your time this morning and best of luck with this year's campaign. Thank you so much, Jim. We appreciate it.